So that that the paperwork issue is what affects people, even when they're in agreement. It's just it's. I think it's. I always tell folks I'm con- having consultations with. Them. I'm like, look, look how much challenges you've had or come across in your divorce, and you are and you guys have been in a full agreement this entire time, and we'll see them taking a year, two years, like in this case, six years. Um, just go, you know. And I think what happens is they'll 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 go through the process. They'll hit a, they'll hit a road bump. They'll get a rejection. And they're like, oh, I thought I was going to be approved. And then they take a couple of months off because they're so frustrated in the process. And then they'll go back at it and then they'll try and do it again. They'll get a rejection. I think that's why so much time gets added on is the frustration. And plus, you can't get help from the court. Here's an update. Interesting with LA Mm -hmm. County. They used to have a self-help center where you could go in um, and get get some help uh, with the court. And now they've gone to a call center scenario. So you can't even get a hold of a clerk or the self-help center, you're getting someone that is different every time. Imagine you call your bank uh, you know, and you, and you get a different person every time you call and people are you're calling. You the story. Uh, yeah. People are calling and they say, Hey, I need help with this. And they'll try and help them. Remember they don't have their form. They're not reviewing their paperwork. They're not doing anything like that. But they'll say, Hey, here's where I'm at. This is what I'm, and then they'll give them some not advice, but here's what you need to do next type scenario, but not helping them with the forms. And then they'll call back get a different person who will tell them something else. I mean, honestly, and I hate to say this, but the, the LA County going to a call center has probably been the biggest boom for my business because the, the people are just not able to get the help anymore. Oh, very good. And that's where you run in with, you run into a lot of bureaucracy dealing with even just the paperwork, right? Even trying to, do you have to call the court? Do you ever have to talk to a live person or is your stuff all mail or whatever yeah so they, the courts won't talk to you either way there's nothing to discuss uh, with them it's all it's all paperwork and it's just knowing okay. procedurally what paperwork needs to get through and where they're like if we start from scratch i have a certain uh you know flow as far as the paperwork goes. Sure. If they come to me having already started the divorce i'll review what they've done so far amend anything that needs to be corrected and then we'll just pr- proceed and move forward um, with finalizing their paperwork and submitting. But yeah, there's no interface with the court at all until you submit that final package, all the final paperwork, and that's when they'll you know take um, take it, review it, and then either reject it or approve it. And on those approvals, do people, because they're amicable, they don't have to see a judge or they never go? They never they, go it's to court. It's all paperwork. Yeah, um, never go to court if you are uh, in agreement and sign off on all the paperwork. I had... Uh, uh, a gal called me last week or was it this week and said, I, you know, I want to come in your office. I have some paperwork I need to prepare <clears throat> to go to court. And I said, right. Why are you going to court? And she was obviously more of an expert than me. She says, well, everyone goes to court. Everyone knows that. I said, my clients oh. don't go to court. She goes, what do you mean? I said, my clients don't go to court. If you're amicable, you sign off on all the paperwork. It's like buying a house. You go through escrow and you do the paperwork. It gets, you know, gets signed and, uh, the judge approves it and you're done. And I think she was so taken aback that she couldn't believe that you did not have to see a judge in order to get divorced. I wonder if she's been getting this from other people she's interviewing or were you, were you her first stop? I don't know. There's so much bad information out there regarding <sighs> divorce in California that half, you know, half the people have gone down a, a different path and mm-hmm. they'll call me and say, you know, Cause I cut right to the chase. I don't go through the sure. drama. I don't care about your backstory. You know, the courts don't care about your backstory. It's irreconcilable differences. The drama. Yeah. You're matter. a real caring, you're a real caring shoulder to cry. on. I'll tell you, and, people and think, needed to cry. Yep. And I think people yep. appreciate that because I never asked, <laughs> are you getting divorced? Not that I don't care, but I don't, there's no reason to open up that door because it's irrelevant. Let's just get the paperwork done. 